Well, Chanel imagined what a fashion show inside a data center might look like, which is creepy. You may have missed the 3D printed smart car you'll actually want, custom makeup printed on demand, and the latest robot you need to know about. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where Carnegie Mellon geniuses developed a robot that has only one moving part. That's the ball base, which is also the motor, which uses spherical induction and magnetic fields to move around. Does anyone else long for a world in which a makeup machine can get this whole situation done in 30 seconds or less, a la the Jetsons? Panasonic's latest interactive mirror first scans your face, finds blemishes besmirging your otherwise lovely facade, then prints makeup for those problem areas. It comes out of the printer within two minutes and patches are then smoothed out on the user's face using water like temporary tats. Honda showed off its 3D printed all electric prototype micro commuter model in Japan and we are into it. These smart car sized vehicles can be customized to their owner's needs, like made into a hatchback for delivery drivers, given lower doors for elderly motorists, or an expanded back end for pets and kids and more crap. Also, fun fact, its design is very similar to the pipe face skeleton of a motorcycle, so theoretically, you could totally join a biker gang if you have a death wish. <laughs> And now, TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Uber reported that its test fleet of self-driving cars has already been involved in accidents. Google unveiled a new phone and a bunch more stuff at a press conference in San Francisco. Guccifer 2.0 dumped a bunch of information he says is stolen from the Clinton Foundation. A non-exploding replacement Galaxy Note 7 caught fire aboard a flight on Wednesday. And it turns out Yahoo was scanning all its users' emails and turning over information to the FBI and NSA, which isn't supposed to happen without a warrant, but whatever. My message to Yahoo is not PC, so a two-fingered peace salute to you.